Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name is Matt, and I had a one of the users was asking how you go about converting MIDI to audio. So I'm going to do a little quick video on it to show you how to do it because it's actually pretty easy to do. So check this out. I've got this MIDI here, piano part. You can hear it. That's all it is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the, the channel. I'm going to press uh, Command T. And I just made a track, an audio track. Now I'm going to go to uh, the, the piano track here. And it's the mix channel. And uh, you'll see right here it says record source. If you just check that box right there. Now, now you're making this, this mix channel a, re, a record source in the sequencer. So now I can just go down to the input here, and you'll see it's record source, piano left, piano right. I can do a stereo, and I'll just say right here, I want the verse piano. See? Now I just uh, I have it set to record. Uh, we we don't need to hear it, but let's uh, let's just record that. Okay, so I've I've got this recorded, and uh, now I have an audio file of the you know I converted the MIDI to audio, and uh, it's actually kind of cool because now I can reverse it. I can. You can do a lot of things with audio that you can't do with MIDI. And you might want to have this audio, uh, you know, an audio clip, you know, that you can uh, affect or reverse or do anything you want with it. It gives you options. And it's that easy to convert MIDI to audio in Reason. And you can also, you can do the same thing. Now, if we go back here to, say, an, an audio channel, like I got my vocals here, I can make th make that uh, a record source too. Any mix channel or audio track, you can make a record source so that you can open it up here. Uh, like if we go back here and we say record source for this on the uh, uh, my vocal channel, and I wanted to record here on this channel, now you'll see it, it's there. I can select that and it's going to record it to this channel. Maybe maybe you want to uh, take uh, an affected uh, wave file and you have some special effects on it and you want to render it to an audio track to maybe save a CPU or, or maybe to add another effect on it. You know, just it opens up a world of other, uh, a world of opportunity, if you will. So, you know, a short little video to show you how to convert MIDI to audio and take an audio track and sum it, uh, you know, to another audio track or render it to another audio track. And uh, the feature is right there in Reason. It's just this little record source. It's that simple. I mean, it really couldn't be simpler. And you can, uh, you can sum them uh, to right here to any, any track you want in the uh, sequencer. So I hope that helps you guys out, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. You take care.